Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, as the title says, we're going to show the gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n times gamma of n. Now, by definition, gamma of n is equal to this integral here. Now, notice where n appears, right here and then right there, yeah? So then, using this definition of gamma of n, gamma of n plus 1 has to look like this, right? So all we've done is we've replaced this n here with n plus 1, as we should for gamma of n plus 1. Now, uh, in the exponent of t here, we have n plus 1 minus 1. That's just n, right? So what we have reduces simply to this here. Now, beyond here, to get the desired result, all we need is a little bit of integration by parts. Um, so in the integration by parts formula, let's let uh, dv be e to the minus t times dt, and let's let u be uh, t to the n. So we have integral u dv, uh, where um, u again is t to the n, and dv is e to the minus t dt. And of course, we know integral u dv is uv minus integral v du, keeping in mind that we have limits of integration, of course. Right, so then um, what I'm saying is using the integration by parts formula, right hand side, we can write this here. Um, so in this part, we have uh, uv, where u is t to the n, and since dv is e to the minus t dt, v is negative e to the minus t, therefore that negative, and then the e to the minus t. And of course, we evaluate uv from. Uh, 0 to infinity, and then we have minus integral v du, but the minus um, turned into a plus here because v uh, is negative e to the minus t, right? And so uh, the negative is swallowed in there, and then the rest of v is right here, and then, uh, of course, uh, what you see here, the rest of it is uh, du, right? Uh, specifically, n times t to the power n minus 1 dt is du. Okay, 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 cool. Now, uh, first, uh, as far as the evaluation here, like, uh, let's clean it up and see how we'd evaluate. So, uh, by cleaning it up, I mean, like, you know, e to the minus t, assuming positive exponent, and um, that's by writing it in the denominator, right? And so, yeah, like, if we, ev another thing I've done is I've taken out this constant n from the second integral, uh, you'll see um, why that's uh, a convenience and just look at what I've shaded here, right? Okay, okay, anyway, um, yeah, and this part, right, like, uh, the evaluation is, like, if we uh, have infinity, right, we don't really plug in infinity. Anytime you hear me say um, plug in infinity in my videos, uh, we should all know that we can't plug in infinity. So technically, I should write, like, an A here and go limit is A goes to infinity, but we could just say plug in infinity for, like, um, the sake of time and um, space, yeah? Okay, anyway, anyway, if we, like, plug in infinity, then um, e to the uh, t is going to overwhelm t to the n, right? Like, e to the t is going to grow much faster than t to the n. Um, uh, so, when we plug in infinity, then this goes to zero, right? And then we'll have minus plugging in zero. When we plug in zero, well, immediately the numerator is zero. So, Basically, this evaluation is 0 minus 0, or 0, right? Okay, and uh, of course, once this is 0, the rest of what we have is n times this shaded integral right here. That's exactly gamma of n. So we have gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n times gamma of n as desired. Yeah? Okay, cool. I hope you enjoyed this. Keep watching. Take care.